What is up everybody? The Hunter GT with thehuntergt.com and here we are with Mother GT who has her Bounty Hunter Land Ranger Pro that she just received for her birthday on Friday. This is my mother everybody. Wave to the camera. Hello YouTube. There we go. Mother GT is out here detecting the beach. We are in Morro Bay, California. You can't miss it because of this huge rock that they call Moro Rock sitting out towards the edge of the ocean. There's the Huntress. She's not going to be de detecting today. She's going to be showing Mother GT the ropes and uh, teaching her how to use her Land Ranger Pro there. So there she goes. She is all decked out. She has a backpack on, a water bottle. She has the Pro Pointer. She has a digger over here that the Huntress, you see the Huntress has hers all on the hip there. She's going to be following her around, showing her the ropes. I have the Technetics T2 Classic. The kids are out there in the surf playing around and uh, we're going to go have some fun here with some more beach hunting adventures not too crowded today as you can see this side there's tons of empty space over here there's a few people not as busy as I've seen it before so we're gonna go walk down that way and have a little bit of fun without further ado let's go find some goods all right well mother GT has her first find right here at five inches deep what do you got there mom Look at that, guys. Tab. A pristine pull tab. One of a kind. It's her first find in all of metal detecting. She will frame that, keep it in her display case. Yeah. Yep, exactly. She's not that excited. She said, oh, my first find is a pull tab with a, a bit of snarkiness. A bit of snarkiness was in the tone. So, Maybe. yeah, she's a true metal detecting veteran already if she's disappointed with pull tabs. It's almost like she's been doing it for years. So, on to the next find. All right, I'm not gonna take the headphones out. There's a bunch of people here right now. I don't wanna be beeping. But I, there's a bouncy target right there. I'm guessing it's just can slaw. About three inches right there. And it's bringing up the meter here to about four. So I'm guessing it's a bottle cap or something nasty but watch over here in a clean spot when I pump the coil look at the mineralization bar it's at zero or one bar I have never seen that ever in my life especially not in Colorado so it's actually not the most mineralized beach at all I ground balanced at 65 right here in this dry sand up here down there by the water ground balancing at like four five maybe something like that over at the other beach that's what we were ground balancing that was like four or five on my f9 on her f19 and the t2 my mom is using her land ranger pro right now that she received for her birthday and it is ground balancing at about in the 60s as well 62 63 so not very mineralized whatsoever look at that it disappears right there in some spots so oh bonkers i love this i love this Well, it was what I thought it was, a Corona Extra bottle cap. There, oh, there we go. A one-of-a-kind find here at Morro Bay. <laughs> Good fun all the same. I love this beach hunting, even though this is 99.9% .9 of my finds here. Just being out here in the ocean, looking at the waves, hearing the birds. Oh, it's fantastic. It is fantastic. I love it. That's just crazy. How awesome. Well, <laughs> Look at the smile on a hunter's face. She calls me over. She says, babe, babe, your mom just found a ring. I said, yeah, right. You're kidding me. So her third metal detecting find here, guys. Look at that. A Raiders 10K ring. It says 10K. I don't know if it's coming in on camera. Let me flip it sideways there. You see in there it says NFL players. And on the bottom there the bottom line you can see where it says 10k look on the sides it is yeah it's got some fancy little markings on the side there it says Raiders look at that so her third metal detecting this is nonsense <laughs> I, this now. is nonsense she has found a gold ring and as her third metal detecting find they both have 
poop eating <laughs> grins on their faces right now. Yeah, both of you, go ahead. She kicks my butt all the time. My mother, on the, I'm not hunting with either one of you ever again. This is it. I am now the Hunter GT only. No more Mother GT or Huntress GT. They are banned from my channel. My goodness, there it is, guys. A 10K because Raiders. Of the my new detector. Yeah, that's right. Her new Bounty Hunter Land Ranger Pro. The proof is that's in the pudding, guys. You don't need a crazy expensive <laughs> pulse induction machine, especially not here on some of these California beaches. Like I said, we ground balanced in the 60s, both of us. So I'm getting one mineral bar on my reading, something I've never yes. seen in color. Oh boy, you guys are just <laughs> pigs in poop right <laughs> now, aren't both of them? Look at this. Look at this. Oh, this is awesome. All right. See, it's cool. Good job. Excellent job, Mom. Thank very, you. very good. On to the next. Oh my good luck streak continues. A New Belgium Brewing Fat Tire Bottle Cap. My mother is finding fat 10 carat rings and I'm finding fat tire bottle caps. Hmm. Hmm. Look at that gold. I found gold too, right? Oh, darn it. I dropped it. I ruined my surprise. Nothing but a crown cap. No gold here. Just that gold foil. Man, when that comes out, your heart kind of skips a beat. And then it uh, kind of fades away. Oh, come on. Well, Mother GT is making a mockery of my skills today. She has found two quarters right there. This is my last two finds. This is a piece of a uh, can. Look, I found gold too, of course, like I was saying, uh, my pop cap, but I did find a zinc penny. So all is not lost, a crusty zinc penny that, of course, she matched me with. She found a zinc penny as well in the pouch here. So, yes, there it is. She's matched me penny for penny. She's matched me real gold for fake gold and she's matched me can slaw for two quarters so not my greatest moment not my finest moment today metal detecting but still having fun and an enjoyable time out here at the beach as you can see the crowd is picking up as the sunlight comes out there is many more observers i've had a few people stop and ask me what did you find how are you doing so i tell them of course miserably I'm doing miserably. All right, got a target here. 47, 48. One inch. There it is. A juice container cap. Oh boy, good stuff. There's the Huntress and Mother GT talking shop over there. <laughs> She's waving hello, everybody. Alright, got a signal here. Let's see what we got here. Let's zoom all the way back out here, slowly. Eighty-eight, eighty-nine, which is a quarter signal. Four inches, and look at the mineralization here at this beach. We moved over a beach is three to four bars, so I'm ground balancing down into the forties here at this beach. So let's find out what we have. All right, it was actually two coins. It was a quarter, a 2000 quarter Virginia, and then a 1980 penny. Pretty good. I will take it. This beach has been quite productive on coins, actually. The other beach, I didn't find anything while my mother found a 10 carat ring. Oh boy. But I'll take the coins. You know me, I love my coins. Just found that zinc penny range. No idea what it is. A little arrowhead or something. I mean, obviously not an arrowhead, but it's shaped like one, or perhaps a 
Christmas tree if you orientate it that way, right? Who knows what that is? Little piece of scrap metal with an odd shape to it. Who knows? Look at that technique. Low and slow. Mother GT is quite the detectorist. I've taught her well. The Huntress has taught her well. Low and slow. She's only found foil and pull tabs here at this one, so she's not quite as happy as her gold rings that over at Morro Bay there. Oh, she sees me videoing her. She put a smirk on her face. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. It's crazy to me how good these zincs come out of the sand. This is like the tenth zinc I found since I've been here, since yesterday, that comes out perfect condition almost. It's an 86, and it's almost like it gets a layer of copper around it. It doesn't look like a zinc penny, does it? Usually they're that real high shininess, or they're just totally corroded. And uh, yeah, there it is. A zinc 86 penny in almost perfect condition. Almost every single one, no matter the year, from 82 on, has looked like this. I haven't really found maybe one or two super crusty ones. I figured the salt water would just make them unrecognizable, but not the case. <laughs> Another shiny coin, fresh out of the sand, 2016. A dime. Man, look at the luster on some of these coins. It's unbelievable that these zincs don't corrode. And these couple year old coins are just like perfect condition. Assuming they were just dropped recently, but who knows how long they've been there. Man, they sure look nice. Definitely not Colorado soil on the beach here. That's for sure. Lovely. I think we're going to call it a video here in a few more hunts. Mother GT has called it a day. And man, look at this crowd out here on the beach today. Tons of people out here. A good thousand, two thousand people out here and it stretches way beyond the pier. They're having a reggae festival today with some nice reggae music. So there it is. I think I'll find one more object of value and uh, call it a day. Eighty-four, eighty-five. About three inches right there. We'll see if we can just kick the sand over and maybe see what it is here. Hasn't worked out for me so far. Oh, I got it out, actually. Let's see what we got here. Right here. There it is. A 67 penny, wow. Look at that, I wasn't expecting something that old here on the beach. And look at the condition it is in. 67, I mean, that is amazing. The condition of some of these coins, bonkers. All right guys, well, I hope you've enjoyed the beach hunting video. I'm not very good at the beach hunting videos, I guess, so I'll try to get the coil into the water tomorrow. There's so many people here, I don't really want to go right down up in there. Picked a busy weekend, I guess, with a reggae festival and all that. So I'll be back here plenty of times. My mom lives over here, so come uh, crash at her house on the floor for a night or two to uh, make the videos. So there it is. The Hunter GT, the Huntress GT somewhere out there, and Mother GT over there taking it easy. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you on the next video.